so passionately. Some games are so good they, they transcend like a time frame. You know, like mm, I was talking definitely. about Chrono Trigger today, and that's just a game. I, think, yeah, you know, I, no I know you love that game. No dude. matter how good graphics improvements and how big games get and worlds get, I still think that game will hold through until basically the end of history. But we're gonna see a double cloud, Matty G and Pelka against Koga and Rafi. Uh, Rafi obviously going. Ooh, that was scary. I mean, both these clouds off stage already. I know it, it's a very pressured situation, and Rafi's a excellent pa player when it comes <gasps> to these edge guard situations. Oh, nice! Look at the mm -hmm. save by uh, Dude, that, that, that was incredible! Far. Yeah, Rafi, you know what, I think Pelka, like, the thing that was going on there is that uh, Rafi is so good at sniping out uh, Cloud's best options, and mm -hmm. Pelka kept throwing out the best Cloud option. Like, he would up B immediately and try to get back to the stage, and Rafi smelled that, and he kept him off stage. But you know what, as we were talking about Matty G earlier, the double Look play by him, are, we, oh are my you kidding me? This is goodness. what I'm talking about, man. That was they were, the they were just throwing up, because, like, okay. This is good. The crowd's mm -hmm. going wild right now. Definitely. This is, this is nuts. I mean, Cloud, everyone talks about how amazing he is in doubles, and now you're just seeing the power of two Definitely. of them. Definitely. The burst aggression that that character can possess. Because, okay, so you think about characters. Ooh, ooh. Koga just tossing that stock away. Like, unfortunate uh, SD mm -hmm. coming out from him. But if you look at Cloud, and, like, his biggest weakness, obviously, is his recovery. Correct? Mm -hmm. But in doubles, as we saw from Matty G, you can you save just your You teammate. bring out that assist, dude. But that was a sick combo. Great follow from Rafi mm -hmm. showing that. Great F smash right there. Catching that uh, that landing with the down air. Blue team right back in this. I mean, actually taking the lead. Or no, mm -hmm. did Koga, Koga Oh, that's lead. unfortunate. Sorry, yeah. Extends the hurt box because uh, Koga Rasumo was in it. All right, great back right there. Just trying to uh, keep Rafi out. And uh, Koga Rasumo doing a great job. Just throwing out those forward air. Just bringing him to Rafi. Because, you know, if, if, yeah. if you can bring it to Rafi, Rafi can go out with that nair and just ping pong all day. It's true. The big problem of Rob and doubles, for, well, he's got a couple big problems, actually. First of being big is mm -hmm. a big problem, actually, because he's going to get comboed a lot. Nice follow-up from DMG. Matty G with a back air, sending Koga off stage. But with Rob, you got to play a specific kind of way. Nice yeah. hesitation. Great awareness. Gets the follow -up. Unfortunately, with Rafi, Rafi had the awareness to just throw out that laser, and I feel like that's that's the brilliance of his as a player. Yeah. It was just a little a bit late to the gun, but I really like the, the <laughs> effort. It's a good punch. Late to the gun. Late to the gun, <laughs> but... He, yeah, he shot. I wonder if a rising forward would have worked better, but I, th I like that he was he was aware, but I think mm. there was a better option yeah, available. Yeah, definitely. Maybe. All right, expands that limit right now. We have him on the ledge. He's going to jab to get out of there, but the F-Smack is going to take him out. Rafi doing a great job keeping Pelka busy, too. Not able to assist Matty G, and that's what the blue team's going to need to do to win definitely. the set, is keep the, both the clouds busy when one of them's off, or mm -hmm. keep the keep cloud on stage busy when one is off stage. yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of off stage, we've got Rafi right here on the platform. Ooh, great grab. Not going to get it, though. Cross slash is going to hit. Looking for another follow-up. See, Matty was right there. I'm telling you, his his mm -hmm. awareness it might be it's some of the best, if not the best, in New England, I would say. It's up there Definitely. It's up there with Mars and Pug, like 100%. All right, we're going to have a 2v1 situation right here. I mean, uh, if you thought Rob's worst matchup is Cloud, how about two Clouds? <laughs> <laughs> Forecast is looking mostly cloudy right now. Two Clouds is limited. Oh, yeah, yo, Belgo went for it. <laughs> Pelka, for those who don't know, is a oh that's a that's, that's another finishing touch, man. I mean, they nerfed that, but it's still so good. Mm -hmm. It's still super potent. And it, how scary is it that there are two clouds that can just toss to each other, mm -hmm. and you know the follow-ups from clouds throws because you, you play are as cloud. A cloud. Yeah, yep. the synergy is nice. I love the way Pelka and Maddie are moving. I like the decisions they're making, and Maddie's save set the tone for that entire game. Definitely, you could really say just straight to the gun because it's when when. It's the first few seconds of the game. You can kind of tell what kind of players they are. And just yeah. the awareness by uh, the two clouds just to save each other was just yeah. genius. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I mean, I think game one is the most raw form of your play. And then mm -hmm. you make you adjust your game plan according to how the other person's playing, right? So mm -hmm. game one, truest form of how you play. Game two, let's see where your adjustments are at. Definitely. FD is going to be the stage. Look at these clouds comboing mid-stage, too. Mm -hmm. I like how Rafi's keeping his distance a little closer. Koga already at 75, but Blue Team answering back with a defensive 75 on one of the clouds. It looks like Pelka. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a throw right here. Just going to throw him off stage. Um, I really like that because it allows Koga, who is in the area, to just you know throw out that offensive pressure. Mm -hmm. Great so Dancing Blade. Mm -hmm. um, dancing Blade, a pretty cool move in doubles. It just keeps the opponent there. And, you know, if you can 2v1 another person while that's happening, that's going to be amazing. You see Pug catch a lot of people. That excellent back here from Rafi X taking the first knock of this game, too. Great response, too. After losing game one, you want to do something finishing great, touch. There it goes. And that is going to be Rob, big body character who gets comboed easily. His best thing is that he can survive and be a stock tank. Not if there are two clouds with finishing touch mm -hmm. on the screen. Ooh, we're going to put the gyro right there on the field. Um, see, just keeping those clouds out. Mm. And they're doing a good job just covering both clouds. I like that we have this situation where t the two people with two stocks are fighting the two people with three stocks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, so that's just good. That's like good play by both. By Definitely both great teams. awareness on that. Mm. 
Okay. Ooh, that's going to be a back air. That's going to take the stock. A little ledge trump in the back air. Classic stuff. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it because that, that option has been working since 3DS. Another great falling back air from Rafi, doing his best to keep Pelkov safe. But there's mm -hmm. Matty G again running in to save his partner. Nice up B by Koga falling out of that cross slash, avoiding damage. And Matty couldn't get the follow up. So, really good awareness from Koga, too. Definitely. We're going to get some jabs right here. Uh, Ooh. What? Ooh, what? what? He just what? predicted he the shield. He dropped the Are shield. Are you serious? The, he dropped the shield the and read got of a century. Are you? Serious? I am that amazed by that hazmat. Book, dude, that is incredible. That's something else, dude. That I'm, is lo wild. I'm loving that the. Is wild. Like, I'm loving that. the talent we have here on the World Games. Oh, the forward air. Okay, Rafi reaching. It looks like you know that was. I think that was Maddie that was trying to get. But again, mm -hmm. you can see Rafi doing such a good job. Uh, when he's fighting Pelka off stage, he's reading mm -hmm. Pelka's options a lot. I'd like to see Pelka mix it up a little bit more. It looks like he's getting nervous when he's off stage, and Rafi's mm -hmm. ready for that. Definitely. Ooh, Matthew, you're gonna throw out an F smash. Gonna eat an F smash up his own. And Koga doing a great job, just throwing out these hits, um, keeping the clouds at bay, so it allows uh, Rafi to just get back onto stage. Mm -hmm. and you know, blue team not quite out of this yet. I mean, cloud mm -hmm. stocks can disappear quickly. Uh, I think the FD was a good counter pick for them. You could see them just setting up space, and even though Rafi's on the other side of the stage and Koga's stuck on the ledge, uh, that's gonna be Koga's yeah. stock. Although he's on the other side of the stage, he's allowed to just throw out that presence with the gyro and the laser. I really like the strategy from uh, Rob. Exactly, he's staying closer this game too, and I think that's mm -hmm. Rafi's biggest downfall in doubles, is that he, he's so used to just hiding far away. Wow, Pelka mm -hmm. almost caught Rafi there with a the limit read, but Rafi, good hesitation, last second, waited, and uh, was able to avoid it. Definitely. We have uh, Pelka on the ledge right here. And almost snipes out that back air with uh, Rafi. Because it was a pretty good option because it, it allowed him Ooh, to. Ooh, we got the DMG combo. Did you mm -hmm. see that? Because if the gyro hit, it would have popped him right in the limit cross slash. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Maddie always stumping out those uh, those good combos. You know what? That's going to be a cloud stock loss, well, so though. And now we really have a tie game situation. Mm -hmm. Rob at high percent, cloud at one cloud at high percent, and a Lucina also there with the high percentage. Everyone floating around 100 except for Pelka. So right here, I think Pelka's got to be the aggressor. Let Maddie mm -hmm. get his feet back on the ground. Ooh, great upbeat by uh, Pelka. Just get out of that situation. Ooh. We're going to secure that stock. We have a 2v1 situation for the blue team. This is really scary for Cloud. He gets caught, tossed off stage. He has to avoid two opponents. And one of them is a Rob, and the other one is Koga Rasuma on. Oh, let's see what happens here. Nice snaps the ledge with the upbeat. Mm -hmm. Pelka having a good time. Almost snuffs out that back air. Oh, nice snipe good with snipe. the gyro. I thought that might have been it. Or with the laser. Oh, that's unfortunate for Pelka. He really needed that limit to mm. try to mount a comeback. I really there. like how he placed the gyro there. Z dropping it right there, being like, hey, Koga, if you, you can't approach me right now, I'm going to pressure Rafi a bit. Yeah. You see a lot of that item proficiency from uh, Brawl players because they had to play mm -hmm. against so many characters who use items. I mean, you got Diddy, Toxic, Diddy. Old Bananas, Zero Suit Samus, who had the items too. I mean, they were kind of special in their own way. Mm -hmm. But you can see Pelka, you're right. That was amazing awareness. CEO. He said, I'm going to build this wall and mm -hmm. Rafi's going to pay for it, is what he said. Because mm -hmm. it also served as a, uh, a double purpose because Rafi was at that perfect roll distance where he couldn't roll in because the, mm -hmm. the gyro would have covered it. You know Rob's love to roll, especially Rafi. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, quick, it's such a good option. for Definitely. like. There's a couple of characters in this game. They're usually a lower tier, too, mm -hmm. you notice. Like, Link's roll is amazing. Rob's yeah. roll is amazing. It's an inherent, like, uh, property of those kind of uh, turtle characters that just throw yeah. things at you. Makes sense. And we're going to see Pelka switch to the Diddy Kong. I do mm -hmm. like the switch. I feel like this team combos really well, mm -hmm. and Diddy can cause... Like we saw earlier, you know, setting up the wall with the banana. We'll see what he can do and try to help Maddie, you know, get his limit and get his combos down. Mm -hmm, definitely. Uh, we're going to have both players just uh, just stuck in the middle right here from the red team. But uh, Pelka doing a good job just backing off, throwing Kogorosuma off stage, and then opting to just help out Maddie G. So I think the way that the red team should view 2v1s is they should go 2v1 on Koga and let Rafi do his own thing. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because Rafi, definitely. Because Rob is so slow, he does have that range presence, but it's mm -hmm. also slow too. Everyone can put their shield up and you know, pretty easily. If you want to poke with that range, let's say the laser, it might you know risk hitting Kogorosuma as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? As, as the... Blue team, I'd be like, I'll take a laser over a Maddie mm. G combo any Def day. Definitely, of the week, definitely. All right, uh, Rafi deciding to just expend a little bit of his gas just to find a safer way to land, but he lands right into that ooh, cross slash. Getting nothing Koga Koga, Asuma yeah. as well. Yeah, that was unfortunate. It was the mm -hmm. extended hitbox from the limit cross slash, getting caught on Rafi, and Koga just accidentally he ran in for the normal cross slash time. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? A limit cross slash to punish, and he just ended up you know, catching himself in it. But you know what? Blue team in a good position. We're seeing Rafi uh, live to those red digits a little bit more. 112, 117, mm -hmm. you know, that's good. He wants to hold on to his stocks and let Koga do the work. Definitely. Uh, Pelka doing, see, just chasing over Koga Rasu and just being like, hey, you know, don't approach Cloud right now. I'm going to go save you. Very good setup by the blue team. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Pelka in a beep boop situation, and they tossed Maddie G off the stage. So they opted. It could have been either way. You know, they could have gone for Maddie off stage. You know, Cloud, not the best character. But Pelka being in more of the disadvantage, they took they took advantage of that and were able to capitalize on the kill. 
I have a feeling Koga would have up B'd or up aired or back aired uh, Pelko if he air dodged, so. Mm -hmm. I really like this adaptation from Koga. I see him just throw out just one or two dancing blades because he knows it's that one of the two players from the red team will just come over and punish him, and he's using that as an opportunity to counter poke himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think that's the best way to play those sword type characters too. Mm -hmm. like oh, Rappy X going all the way down there. Matt, look at Matty G. Matty G, he's like, I, I have no qualms just expending my worst, limit. I have the worst recovery in the game, but here I am trying to save mm -hmm. my teammate. Like, absolutely definitely. wild. You can you co definitely commend him for being an amazing player just by that demonstration right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're gesture. going against, and we saw Rappy a lot earlier in the set do so much work with m on these clouds off stage. He's, mm -hmm. you know, he just knows how to use Rob's arsenal against clouds, which is uh, absolutely essential if you're going to try to play Rob at a high definitely. level. Definitely. Rappy just uh, stalling Ooh. a little bit for time here just so Koga can get back on stage and assist him. And he almost got the dunk, too. He got Definitely. two up airs, got an air dodge read and a down air. He just didn't get him off in the right position. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, great down smash right there. They're going to send him to the other side of the stage. But uh, Pelka doing a good job. Uh, he was committed to that uh, rapid jab, but he decided to hold it on there just so Rappy couldn't just run past and edge guard cloud on the other side. Matty G with a good DI, barely holding on. Koga with the contention, though, has Matty G in a bad spot. Good low recovery from the cloud, too, though. Mm -hmm. You can see Rafi sticking next to Koga, being like, hey, you know, you, you can't poke me right now because Koga's just right here. He's going to edge guard you. I mean, you want to talk about somebody tanking this game? It's going to be Matty it's G. Matty G, dude. Wow, are you serious? That was so smart from Rafi. The mm -hmm. jumping air dodge and then getting it up air anyway. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. That is that is like Protection. a beep. Beep. Wait for it, boop. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, little, he, he uh, held it, man. That was wild. The connection was kind of canceled there a little bit, but it came through yeah, anyway. Exactly, yeah. A little the hiccup on Wi Fi. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, really good stuff from the. I mean, I think there's been a couple times where uh, the blue team like is at a severe disadvantage, but now they're doing a good job breaking this back, closing the gap. Definitely. Ooh, Koga doing a good job just being able to pressure Pelka, but also having the presence of mind that Matty G is right there. Mm -hmm. And there you see Pelka saving Matty G, too. Matty G. Uh, got his jump sniped by the forward smash, Rob. And uh, luckily, Pelka was there. Otherwise, I think he would have been eating an up tilt or down tilt and just keeping Cloud off stage. Mm -hmm. Gonna snuff out that stock with that backer. Immediately, stair shock. And Koga trying to go for that offensive pressure with the F smash. Yeah, I think, you know what? I think the blue team, I think they really gotta hold on. I mean, these are the last stocks of the tournament, mm -hmm. potentially. I think you wanna sit back and let your Rob uh, set up shop and do whatever you can because mm -hmm. Cloud Rangers is limit. You know, you can, you can give up a little bit of space to them, especially because you're behind. Uh, a little change in pace would be excellent. I would like to see, uh, you know, just Koga reacting to the gyro and lasers and trying to get big combos off of that. Koga making his way back down Ooh, the stage. Oh, he goes for the That was amazing. That, that, that crossed me up because I thought it was going to be a cross slash afterwards. And, and he stuck the landing bonus points. He landed on the ledge afterwards so he couldn't mm -hmm. get punished by Koga. Ooh, great. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He, uh, he deserved that. He deserved that. I got to say, that's super funny. That's amazing. Right, we we had the crowd laughing in the back. That was a good set. Having a good time. That was a good set. There was some cool stuff from both teams, actually. I really like that. So.